So we come to number 15, and it gives us the keyword linear function. That's very important. So I've noticed some things about this linear function. If I go to the question, it says, what are the slope and the y-intercept that best represent the linear function? So the slope is how our rate of change for the graph. So as we look left to right, moving in this direction, I'm going to pay attention to my line. My line actually moves up or is positive. So this is a positive rate of change or slope. And I'm writing with my mouse, so I'm trying to be very neat. Um, so this is going to be a positive number. Our rate of change, m, will be a positive number because moving left to right, our line goes up from left to right. So that's the first thing. And then it says we want our y-intercept. Well, this is my x-axis, and this is my y-axis. So my y-intercept is actually right here. And that is this negative 4. All right, so I'm going to clear my screen. And we're going to look at some of these numbers here. So the numbers, remember my slope is positive, And my y-intercept is right here at negative 4. So I've got, it says move the correct answer to each box. So I know the y-intercept is the easy one. That's negative 4. So I'm going to select my negative 4. It says each answer may be used more than once. Not all answers will be used. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 answers. So I want negative 4 is my y-intercept, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it to that box right there. So I've got my y-intercept answer. Now, for my slope, I need a positive number. So I need not these negative numbers, so I'm going to leave these out, but I'm going to choose 0 0.5, 2, or 4. So I know that I've got to have a positive number. Now I'm going to use my calculator. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to use my y-intercept here, and then I'm also going to use my x-intercept, which is 2. So I've got, we're going to use linear regression. So let me move my calculator to the left so that I can see my graph. So I'm going to put in a table. Now remember, for a table, all I need is two coordinates. So I'm going to use the coordinate of my y-intercept, which is x is 0, y is negative 4. So x is 0, y, negative 4. And you can see that my graph puts that right where it is in the sample. So I've got the right coordinate. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit so that it looks a little more like the graph that I'm looking at. So, And then my next point, I'm going to use the x-intercept, using those key features or those hot points uh, to help me answer my questions. So I've got 2 x is 2, y is 0. Those are very easy points to use, especially when they're nice and clean like that. So I will always use those if I can. So then I'm going to put in my regression equation. So to put in your regression equation, you can click there on the, uh, the little tablet thing so that we can say, all right, so I want y, 1, and remember, I need the squiggly, so I need to go click here and go find the squiggly. There's the squiggly. And then I need M, X, go back to my numbers, and I need 1 plus, back to my letters, B. So then I'm going to close the little keyboard so that I can see. And so I can see that my B is negative 4, but m, it represents my slope. And to confirm that, I can actually go over and open my reference chart. 
which opens right there nice and neat for me. And I can make it big. And so I go down to linear equations and slope of a line. There it is. M is slope. So there's slope intercept form. There's my M. So I want M for slope. So I close. So I'm going to make that small again and close my reference chart. And I'll go back to my calculator and I'll see that my equation is still there. So M is 2. And if I need to see it bigger, I can type in M and it'll tell me that M is 2. So I go back. Go to my question, scroll down, and I drag positive 2 to my box. And so now I've had a two-point question. I was able to answer the whole thing very simply by graphing and by using my Desmos calculator uh, to figure that out. So I've got all of my key components and so I got two points towards passing and you will too. Remember to use your Desmos calculator.